Linux commands for iPhone users. Make sure your ISH um, app is installed. You can go to the App Store, um, look for an application, ISH Shell. Okay, this first one, I have mine installed already, so I'll just open, but just get it installed on your end. And um, if you are opening this for the first time, I will suggest that you update the um, package list and you upgrade to the installed packages as well using the APK command. Okay, this is Alpine Linux installed on your iPhone. APK updates. Okay, so APK updates, return. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is to upgrade the installed packages. So APK upgrade. APK upgrade. Now we can move on to the Linux commands proper. The first set of commands we are going to cover are system info commands. Okay, if you want to show the type of OS that you are currently on, you can use the uname, the uname command. You can see I'm on Linux, but if you want to get full system uh, details like the kernel, the version, the arch, and all that, uname, then you pass the A flag. Pass the A flag. You can see Linux. You can see so many other information. Now, if you want to get the current username of the user logged into the system, so just who am I? You see, that is a root. So this is basically the root user that is currently in the system. So um, let's now move on to file and directory basics. Basics. So the commands particular to file and um, directories. If you want to show the current working directory, the current directory that you are in, you can use pwd. You see, I'm in the root directory. Okay. If you want to list all the files in the root directory or in, in the current directory you are in, just ls. And you see, I'm currently in. My, um, I have my folder and test.txt in this particular directory. Now, the reason I'm having these two is because I've done a bit of work in this Linux environment before. On your end, it might be empty, so um, don't fret. If you want to get more information about this, um, the contents of this particular directory, you can pass the L flag. So ls, you pass the L flag, and um, you see I have more information about the user, the permissions, and all that. So let's just move on. If you want to get the hidden files, you can do ls. You pass the A flag, okay, to get the hidden files. You can see the the hidden files, the Python history history and all that so you may not be getting python history on your end like i said i've done a bit of um work on this particular linux installation so if you want to create a new folder you can use mkdir command mkdir then the name of the folder you can do something like new folder okay new folder so ls you see now i have new folder so that is it if i want to change directory into the new folder i just created cd and you change directory into that particular folder so just specify the folder new folder and you return you see now i'm in new folder so that is it if i want to go back one step behind cd then and you can see i'm um one step behind